hello guys it is the second video of my cooling pond and cooling tower video i will discuss the cooling tower in this the first thing is the definition of a cooling tower it is a heat rejection device that rejects waste heat not the useful heat to the atmosphere through the cooling of water stream to a lower temperature the types of cooling tower is natural draught and mechanical draught the natural draught system contains the spray type pack type hyperbolic and the mechanical draught system contains the forced draught and the induced draught system the three types of natural draught system can be seen here i have placed all the diagrams in this uh, single slide so that we can see the difference clearly uh, uh, and have no confusion between them the first type is the spray type cooling system in which the water inlet contains the hot water which is sprayed down and uh, is broken into smaller uh, particles or smaller droplets which is uh, uh, which is then evaporated due to the air flown from the sides and the cold uh, water is collected from the bottom at the water outlet these are the lowers which uh, helps the water to be distributed uh, uh, uniformly so that the surface area of the water increases and the temperature of the water decreases simultaneously due to evaporation lowers are the segments or, or the uh, partitions which will allow the uh, water droplets to pass through them uh, uh, at a given interval of time or uh, will increase the surface area accordingly the second one is the pack type cooling tower you can see that it is same as that of the spread uh, filled cooling tower but it has some difference as there are the packing sprays which increases the wetted area wetted uh, surface area of the uh, water and breaks the water into smaller particles these inc this these uh, packing sprays will increase the evaporation process and thus the efficiency of the cooling system rest all the process are same as that of the spray filled cooling tower the third is the hyperbolic tower as you can see the shape of the hyperbolic tower is that of a chimney it creates a natural draught which makes it more efficient and the, from here the water is sprayed and from the bottom the uh, air inlet is present the air inlet goes through the packing and then to the uh, outside air due to the natural draught and the low, uh, cold air uh, cold water is collected from at the bottom of the bottom of the uh, hyperbolic tower the second type is the mechanical draught system this contains the induced and the forced type mechanical draught uh, cooling tower the key difference between the mechanical uh, draught system of uh, the induced type and the forced type is that in the induced type the fan present here is placed at the top of the tower but in the uh, induced type uh, in the forced type the fan is present at the bottom of the uh, tower in the uh, induced type the air inlet is from the bottom and due to the uh, pre uh, suction pressure created due to the fan the air is flown uh, to the top contain containing moisture and in the eliminator the water vapor is uh, uh, again recollected but about 5% uh, of water vapor escapes to the atmosphere through the air outlet and uh, the wa cold water is collected at the bottom but in the uh, second type that is the force type the uh, fan is present at the air inlet the air passes through the uh, same wood filling and air is uh, blown out from the uh, top of the uh, tower and uh, the cold water is collected from the bottom the key difference is that the placement of uh, the fan uh, at the top in the induced type and the at the bottom in the force type Hope you have learned a lot from this video. Uh, if you